Not too long ago, I uploaded a video of me finally getting the SNES Classic. And as I stated in that video, I thought I was completely over the Super Nintendo Classic. They're never on the shelf. It's not as easy to get it as it is to get AT games, plug and plays. But, I mean, with all due respect, those plug and plays aren't the greatest. But you can never find a Super Nintendo Classic, despite the fact that Nintendo keeps saying there are going to be more quantities of these plug-and-plays produced. I just thought I never was going to find one. I finally just gave up. I didn't want it. You know, scalpers were charging outrageous prices for a plug-and-play. Don't get me wrong. I get wanting to make some extra money. But it's a plug-and-play, and $200 is re ridiculous so I didn't want it anymore I gave up and I thought I was over with it but as I said in that video I came across it at Target and I guess I was not over it because I purchased it right away and here it goes I do have it and I've played a little of it and honestly it's a nostalgic piece and it's kinda cool to have this guy to play SNES games I mean, with all due respect, the case itself is very nostalgic to the original Nintendo. It has the same textured plastic. It has the slide power and reset buttons. Obviously, the eject does absolutely nothing. On the back, it has an HDMI and it has a DC in. It is micro USB. Like I've said before, I, despite what other people like, I do like micro USB because I have so many of them laying around the house. Now the only thing that I have come across that I do not really like is, if I can get it off because I always have a problem getting this to come off like right now. I don't really like this flimsy cover that they have over the control ports which obviously we all know. The classic edition for Nintendo's plug and plays uses the Wii ports. So you could potentially use a Wii controller on this. This video is not about the SNES Classic. Well, not completely. I am going to get this thing hooked up to the TV, play a little bit of games on it. But it's about something else related to this SNES Classic. And that is this My Arcade Gamepad for the SNES Classic. Now it's called the Super Gamepad. I want to finally get to take a look at this guy on the SNES Classic because I bought this before I even had a Super Nintendo Classic. Never got to try it out. Now you can use this on your Wii, which I have a Wii, but unfortunately my cats decided that they were gonna piss on the AV cables and I could not hook the Wii to my TV. Now since then I have purchased this Wii HDMI adapter that at some point I will be using. I, there will be a future video on that so do subscribe to keep up to date on that. But for now, today, I want to hook this up to the SNES Classic. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Reviews by This Guy and on this episode we are going to take a look at this My Arcade Super Gamepad for the Super NES Classic and Wii and it also says Wii U. You all might recognize the My Arcade name for their little retro handhelds they've been making and also the little tiny arcade machines. Now those machines are pretty decent they're nothing fantastic I have done a video on a couple of them but one day at Target I came across this controller and it just intrigued me and I had to purchase it even though I really had no way of even testing it or playing it because I, at the time I didn't have a Super Nintendo Classic and my Wii U had no cables now the SNES Classic is a nostalgic little plug-and-play and I think for the most part, people have gravitated to the SNES Classic for its nostalgic value. It pretty much looks like a shrunk down NES. Everything about the console itself feels just like a real SNES. Now the SNES Classic has a really good lineup. Uh, there are a couple of games on the system that I've never played and one of them being Earthbound. 
And now to get a physical copy of that game, you're really going to break the bank. It also has The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. It also has Mega Man X, another game that I actually, I'm not going to say I haven't played it. I bleep, I bleep. I briefly played it on my Super Retrocade. It also has a Secret of Mana, which I've never played. It has Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Course. It's got Super Mario World and Super Mario Kart, which is definitely a game that when I was a kid, I loved. When I was younger, I had stayed at my aunt's house to specifically play Super Mario Kart. Now, a friend of theirs brought the console over to the house, and because I was so addicted to it, they left it there, and I decided to stay overnight and I was playing that system all night long until it hit daylight. There is also Final Fantasy 3. I really have never gotten into the Final Fantasy games because like I've said before on the channel, I've never really been into RPGs and it's not to say that I don't want to get into it because I feel like I'm missing something. Just never really got into RPGs. The console also has Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which is a fantastic game, a very hard game, but still nonetheless, it is very fun. It also has the original Star Fox and the unreleased Star Fox 2 on there, which I can't wait to try out. It has Super Mario RPG, which I've played a little of, and I still have not sat down and gone through that game and beat it and and played it in all its entirety I do want to at some point and it also has Yoshi Island there are some other games on it but those are the ones that stood out to me it's pretty cool to have this little NES classic that you can take along with you and, and play this in a hotel or possibly play it at a friend's house but for the most part it's something that's probably gonna sit on my shelf and just be a collector's piece honestly I just wanted to briefly talk about the SNES classic and even though at some point I thought I was over it I'm not I do like having it and I will probably get some gameplay out of it especially that Earthbound but for the most part it's gonna sit on my shelf and just be a piece to look at but when I was in Target like I said I got this my arcade Super game pad that stood out to me. Now there are a few game pads for the SNES Classic. I think Nikon makes one. I'm sure Hyperkin makes one. And I do actually have a retro bit NES one sitting around here, but that's not really going to work with the SNES Classic because obviously it is a Nintendo controller and it only has two buttons. But I have used my arcade products in the past and they're decent. They're not great. But since this controller stuck out to me, I bought it even despite the fact that I had no real way of testing it. And today we're going to get it out of the box, hook it up to the SNES Classic, and see how it functions. Alright, I got the controller out of the box. First impressions, this controller is extremely lightweight. It feels very cheaply made. But as long as the controller works, I'm not really too concerned with that. Definitely feels like it can be easy, easily broken. It has a micro USB up top for charging. It does have the R, R, and L buttons and Z, R, and Z, L. It has a turbo button. It has start and select. It has your traditional D-pad, which isn't the same that is on the actual Super Nintendo controller. It has your A, B, X, and Y buttons. Now, this controller has the color scheme of the North American SNES controller. As you can see here, this is actually the controller that came with the Super Nintendo Classic. Now, I'm not entirely sh sure what the ZL and ZR buttons do. It does come with the dongle. It also came with this warning stating that you need to plug in the dongle before putting in the batteries. It does have a home button on it. I would assume besides pairing, this would come in handy if this was used on a Wii or a Wii U. Controller does take AAA batteries. Wow, these top ZL and ZR buttons are really, really flimsy. But either way, the controller has a pretty unique look to it. it doesn't look as good as the Nikon controller or Nyko controller for the Super NES. I would like to get that one as well. I think that controller looks really cool. But let's go ahead, get this hooked up to the SNES Classic. And get some batteries in here put the dongle in first 
and actually see how the controller functions. I mean, if it functions really well, then it's an alternative to the actual wired controllers that come with the SNES Classic, even though those are official made, they feel just like the original SNES controllers. But it'd be kind of nice to have a uh, wireless controller. All right, the My Arcade Super Gamepad worked fairly well on the Super NES Classic. All the buttons functioned fairly well. It was really easy to connect. I put the dongle inside the Super NES Classic, put the batteries in, hit the home button. The home button actually will bring you back to the game menu of the Super NES Classic. The D-pad worked fairly fine. I mean, my only issue was, I mean, holding it like this, these upper notches here get a little, a little uncomfortable, very slightly. It's not too bad. But, I mean, it didn't function all that bad compared to the Super NES actual controllers. I didn't even feel a difference, to tell you the truth. And, uh, the wireless technology worked pretty well. I went from this bedroom all the way to the other bedroom across the hall there in my house and the controller was still working I also walked halfway down the stairs to the first floor and the controller was still working so the wireless technology is pretty good so if you're looking to get a pretty decent wireless controller then my arcade super gamepad works pretty well it will work really good sitting on a couch across from the TV it just, no matter where I put the controller, it didn't seem to disconnect. So the dongle and the wireless technology, I keep saying that wireless technology in this controller worked really good. My arcade's a good controller for the Super NES Classic. I'm actually pretty happy with it and I'm probably going to end up using this. I do, at, in the future, want to try the Nyko controller. I can't remember the exact name of that controller, but that controller looks a lot more striking than this one as far as design is concerned, but this is still a really good controller. If you have any questions on that My Arcade Super Gamepad, please do leave them in the comments down below. Please let me know any of the other wireless controllers that you've used on the Super NES Classic. Just want to let you guys know that I finally, after uh, my Raspberry Pi has been sitting on my desk for so long, decided to finally use it and build something. Now, it wasn't the original intention for the Raspberry Pi, I was going to build a custom laptop, but I've decided to use a different single board computer. So I finally got this, I believe it's probably, it's a, it's a Chinese made Super NES style case. I finally got that and I finally did my first Raspberry Pi retro console build. Now that's going to be featured on a different channel on the DIY dummy channel. I will leave a link as soon as I get that edited and uploaded. But on this channel, I am going to look at this console on probably my tiny point of view, uh, look at which image I used, look at how it functions, and my overall opinion on it. So far, using it, Raspberry Pi is pretty cool. I like it. As far as a retro gaming console is concerned, I'm probably going to build more of these. Today, I got in the mail the King Taro version of it, which this one's a whole lot better. It has the slide up and down power and reset buttons. Now the reason I went with this originally is because it has a dust cover, which I kind of like, and this one doesn't. But this case is probably going to be a whole lot better. For this one, I'm probably going to go strictly with NES games on it. We'll see. That's for the future. Just want to let you guys know, so if you're interested in that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you liked what was contained in this video, as always, please, please hit that thumbs up. And please consider sharing amongst your friends. And I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Reviews by This Guy on the Weedeen Channel.